Hey, this is a message for Archie, uh, Paul Pluto. Um, yeah, so um, I did a video some time back uh, when TGV had sold his uh, channel to that watch business, um, but specifically because uh, you'd had a bit of a rant about the fact that he'd stolen all your ideas and his advice or all of his um, success was down to you and so on and so forth. And I was having a bit of a rant to you about the fact that, you know, you should probably wish the guy good luck and um, regardless of, you know, who's right and who's wrong, just let bygones be bygones and get on with your own channel and just do what you do. Um, now, since I did that video, I've seen a massive decline in your well-being uh, and that has been uh, acknowledged by yourself and recently you shared with uh, as your audience some of the challenges you've had with your son. Now as a father I just wanted to say that I absolutely empathise with your situation. I can't begin to um, imagine the nightmare that it is of you know having a child that sees only one way out and um, you know just that, that darkness that it can bring to, to both himself and obviously to you. Um, so you know I, like I say uh, my thoughts are with you and I'm sure many of, uh, of your viewers also feel the same way. But there is also an aspect to this which I feel I need to comment upon and I'm not trying to give you advice, I'm just trying to get off my chest some of the things that I'm screaming while I'm watching your videos inside my own head and I'm sure I'm hopeful that um, some of your other viewers feel the same way about this. Um, this video was, was really sort of instigated from two that I saw recently on your channel. The first one was where you were talking about the fact that you'd asked your old man for 1500 bucks and uh, you had a big spat with him and you know he, uh, he obviously didn't want to give you the money but he, he did in the end and that was compounded by the fact that the next video I see is you uh, saying that you've uh, gone on to um, a website, booked a cheap Jetstar flight and you've chipped off to Sydney and you've still got the black dog and this and that. Um, I just want to be clear in my communication too, and just on my thoughts, but your son's in a really dark place, mate. Um, you have a black dog uh, with you, a bit of depression, uh, probably as a result of that. Um, you you need to kick that dog in the nuts, mate. Pull yourself together and be there for your son. Um, I'm sure that, you know, in, in your mind, you're doing all that you can for your son. And, and like I said, I don't know, you know, personally um, uh, how deep that uh, relationship is with, with your, your son but like I say coming at it from a viewer's perspective it looks as though you're taking care of number one and as many of your viewers would know uh, especially those with children uh, sometimes taking care of number one uh, has to take second place to taking care of your, your kids. Um, the fact that you disappeared off to Sydney I'm hoping that it was with you know all of your Pateks and your high-end watches boxed and ready to sell to Luxuria or whoever the fuck it is that you've come and seen over here. Because if you haven't come to sell your watches, then Sydney ain't the place to try and make yourself feel better. As you said, you know you hadn't even got off, or you just got off the plane. You're looking at the sunshine outside, and you're already feeling even worse. Um, but the fact of the matter is that in relating back to your watches, is, is you have assets that you can sell to make your financial situation better. You don't need to go and ask money for you know for money from your old man. Sell your watches. Outside of our little group, um, a sixteen thousand or twenty thousand, however much your watches are worth, uh, you know, having that value on your wrist is ludicrous. Um, even if it's an heirloom or something like that, you know, there's absolutely no reason for you to um, pull yourself together and, and monetize that watch and do something good with the money. And by do something good with the money, I mean um, get some counseling for your son, um, get some counseling for yourself. Um, hire a, you know, a, a, an off, um, like a, you know, a, a caravan or something like that. Go traveling around Australia for, you know, six months with your son. Um, do something with the money that is, is of use like wearing wearing this silly watch on your wrist is, is absolutely ludicrous and I think a lot of people who watch the channel would agree with me 
in the, you know, having your Patex um, is all great when, you know, money's, money's there. But when it isn't, uh, the first thing you should be doing as, a, as an adult is take responsibility for yourself and, you know, sell some of the things that are, quite frankly, not essential to everyday living. And a white gold Patek, whatever it is, is absolutely not essential. Um, it's a luxury item and at the moment you're not living a luxury life so um, get rid of it anyway like I say um, I just wanted to I suppose to get this stuff off my chest and, and you know wish you well but also just give you a bit of a reality check and say pull yourself together um, you can get yourself out of this situation but you need to do it yourself um, you can't rely on others to do it people will be there to support you but handout time, not acceptable. You need to do this for yourself. Because this isn't the first.